not like it. We're sort of like Okay, to uh, everyone listening, or well, the well, f- the the people who are listening, the few the that few. listen, here's the deal: <laughs> Speed Society is going to be hosting all of these podcasts. You're going to be seeing a ton from these guys. I, like, they're yeah. How big are they, Sean? Uh, it's the biggest automotive website in the world, and I mean, they got a lot of cool shit. Yeah, we're stoked to be working with guys like that for sure. Anytime we can align ourselves with other huge automotive people, this is perfect. So also. Stop listening now and go and like it and comment on it. And the sooner you do that, hopefully the more podcast episodes you'll hear. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, the Crow 405, Murder Nova, Miller Street Cars. Like it, comment on us. Tell us who you are. Tell us why you listen to it. Keep this going, please. There are people that are, don't want this to keep going. Yeah, there's going. people right now trying to make trying to put it into this they, they so, don't want us on the air and we got guys like speed society that want to help us keep it going so welcoming us let's do it rock and roll help everybody out and while you're there check it out their website's awesome welcome back to a extremely special tuesday, tuesday edition of the chief and sean show mm-hmm. we are in the mess shack live sort of live i can ask if it's live there's other people here. It's not it's just me li- and you. If it's live, we could have a vote. If it's lived, yeah, lived. <laughs> it is live because ED is past past tense, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So it's lived at this it's point right live, now. It's, it's live right now. At the point at the point right now that we're at is live. <laughs> Nobody can hear it right now though. I can hear it, and there's oh, other people God. here that can hear it. Damn it! Okay, so we are live in person. How about that? There you go. Live in person. I'll take that. The Chief and Sean Show on Tuesday. Don't even think about arguing that it ain't Tuesday because the Instagram podcast listeners will chew you up and spit you out. Yes. <clears throat> and and ah. as long as this week seemed, I'd almost bet it wasn't Tuesday either, but I know it is because we're sitting was, in here. Did it seem long, Sean? It's real long. It's long excessively. and vain. I can't was take that shit. Long and veiny. I can't take that shit. <laughs> what shit? That fucking light. Why oh, the, the fuck can't we get somebody in here to fix that light? Why can't we get them to fix the bullet holes? In the walls. I don't care about the bullet holes aren't bothering me. I, <laughs> I, like, I kind of like the bullet that's, holes. That's how I know you're my dog. <laughs> yeah, I kind of like the bullet holes. But the light flashing in my eyes. Yeah, we, that is annoying as hell. I feel like before next Tuesday, that shit should be fixed. It should have been fixed I'm gonna before put that, this Where's day. the whiteboard? Can, no, can we just... Un- where's, where's the whiteboard? Can we just unhook it? Unhook the one that's making it seem like we're in Henson's mind? Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Chuck would feel right at home in this deal. Yeah, you, know, you a, want my chair. It's yeah. like a club. We're, we're, I feel like we're at the club here with the light flashing on us. It's just, so damn cold in here. Yeah, it's... Yep. And Chuck would be dancing like a motherfucker. He'd have glow sticks and shit, and he'd be... <laughs> he'd be snowing on bitches. <laughs> uh, so now Phantom, our producer, has become the maintenance man. Here we go. One. Fix it. He almost had it. No, just unhook them. Yeah, I'm gonna have a fucking aneurysm. They're gonna bust here in a minute. Yeah, I'm gonna bust them myself. Yeah. I'm gonna have a fucking seizure, man. What are you doing? Oh, there you go. Look at that. Mood lighting. Mood lighting. Ah, this is way more friendly. Yeah, he just dimmed it a little bit. It's way more friendly. Give me back. All right, sorry uh, to our listeners. We're having a bit of tef- technical difficulties here. Hey, the mat. Oh, you. Hey, turn it. I guess. Never mind. He's doing turn. What, he cold over there? Hell yeah. No okay. shit? Yeah, I'm hot. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's probably because we're on the same shit. <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> we have the same chemical balance. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, so on this very special Tuesday edition of the podcast, I am so excited. Y'all don't even know how excited I am about this podcast. I have been excited about a few podcasts in my time. But this one is super exciting. We got a couple special people here. We have some special guests. Very, very special Very people. special people. Uh, as my dad would say, there are sinkers and there are floaters. These two are floaters. Uh, we have Precious Cooper, grudge racer, street racer, female extraordinaire. She flags races. She... Holds the money. Mm-hmm. 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 She mm-hmm. races the fastest there are on small tires, big tires, asphalt, concrete, track, street, whatever. She's done it all. Yep. 
Pressure definitely, Cooper. Definitely a as real as it gets street racer. Yeah, and she has coined the famous phrase that is sweeping the nation. <laughs> and if she don't put it on a fucking t-shirt, I'm going to. Yep. With a big old curly fro on the shirt. And it's yep. going to say, off with, off with their Precious, head. let me hear you say it. Off with their head. <laughs> off with their head. <laughs> <laughs> uh Welcome to the Meth Shack here. Yes, yes. Um, and we have sitting next to her. Look at that. The light just came on. Look, all Jesus I said was Christ. welcome. Hey, right before I introduced yep. JJ, listen to how special he is. Yep. Whoa. Yep. The light I can't came even tell on. you. It's people, almost like somebody running a spotlight. People, people, you know, when you're in church, I really don't. But I've heard. When you're in church and they talk about the Savior and they introduce him in the in the play at the end. And the lights come on over top of them, and they're just raising. Goes, oh! Yep. All I said was sitting to the left of Precious, and I started to introduce JJ to Boston, Memphis, and the damn light in the ceiling literally came on and is shining directly on JJ's. And it's not flickering. No, it's not nothing. <laughs> That's a special motherfucker right it there. It is. It is. Welcome, JJ, the boss of Memphis. Oh God! <laughs> and he's gonna freeze up. <laughs> This ain't no damn street race. Yeah. <laughs> so let me tell everybody here, uh, for those of you that don't know or, or you're living in a rock or your mom lost her cable and, and so you can barely afford Cheetos, J.J. the boss of Memphis is is right now on everybody's mind. He's 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 everywhere. Everybody's talking about him. Love him or hate him, you're talking about him. Yes, and he is, and you know. It has almost taken the heat off of my personal life. <laughs> on instagram for a week yeah like they yeah. went it, it's it's just and people are they're making they're turning a corner on jj have you noticed that i have i have because at first like the first time we ever saw him it was bad like oh they hated him yeah yeah even i even got a text message from my mom they hated talking him. about not liking this guy and I mean, we all know my mom yeah. and uh she's even changing like she's no, even everybody's around, everybody's turning know? the corner and you know i I'm telling you, it's, it's, there's something about the dude that you just want to get in and be a part of it. Okay. Because, and he, he did that to us too, you know? So yep. he, just like us, he's got his own style. He's got his own flavor. He's got his own swag. He's got his own thing. He does his shit. He don't care if anybody thinks it's cool. He'll wear a pro snap shirt with no sleeves. Yeah. And he don't give a fuck what you think about it. Yep. And he'll wear boots with flames on them and, and he don't care. Those are his driving boots. You know what I mean? I'm gonna get them fucking. Boots I, those color. are those are uh, full blown. They're fire retardant and all he that. Has his, Otherwise, he wouldn't wear them. <laughs> yeah, he has his own way of doing things, and so initially, people hate that. They can't stand a motherfucker who wants to do his own thing. They can't stand a motherfucker that ain't asking them what they think. They can't stand somebody that's gonna do something on their own and don't give a fuck what you think about it. They can't take it, and that's who he is. So at first, they hated him. Well, and they he's hated on, him. And you also got to say, man, he's on the opposite side of us. So that, that gives people a little more hate towards him. Yeah, but when we first showed up, they hated us for the same reasons. Yes. They hated us because I, I, I dress funny and we, we act stupid and we say dumb shit. Okay, so they hated us for everything. Well, that's what they did to JJ at first. Well, now they've seen a little bit more of JJ. And then they've seen a little bit more of JJ. And now they got to see JJ kind of run the show. And they've seen the decisions that he makes when he's in charge. And they've just seen the what, way. What, the fuck you decisions? Well, or the, or the we're going to give boosted extra time. How? He gave yeah, boosted. From nowhere. But he gave boosted extra time. He yeah. gave in on a parachute thing. Like just when you think he's he's not to be swayed, he he'll he's a reasonable man. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. now they're starting to they're starting to turn a corner. It went JJ from, the boss, as fair as it gets. Yeah, <laughs> just a straight just a straight he's shooter. A straight shooter. He is. That's a good honest <laughs> That's motherfucker. Just right honest there. as fuck. He'll tell you straight up. He gonna fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, come on down to JJ's used cars. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> this is the guy I want to buy a car from, man. I'm here to tell you, he'll tell you his race car has been easy. You know, yeah. just Sunday drives. Yeah, just you like, know? He, just like he said, that truck's forty seven hundred. Forty seven hundred pounds. Hey, people yeah. believe that shit too, yeah. man. They're like, wow, farm trucks only five thousand. Yeah, they should believe. race. That'd, yeah. be, that'd be a good race. Oh, you he, know? Yeah, trust me, it ain't for nothing. Like trying. JJ's tried. Uh, so it's what. 4720 miles. Yeah. Oh, because the extra battery. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. Yes. Yeah. I believe that. The 20 is bullshit in the bed is what it is, uh -huh. and you're feeding it in the driver's meeting to everybody. Uh, so That's the fastest small tire in the world. There ain't no lie. Ain't no lie. I'm going to give it to you. Uh, on the street, ain't nothing fucking with that truck on any surface on a small tire. Yep. Uh, I think if Boosted would have made we'll, – we'll talk about it. We'll get to the finale. <laughs> we'll get to that. We'll yep. get to that. I'm going to buy that truck from him. Uh, 
So I'm be locked up if you do. <laughs> <laughs> so everything's for sale. Everything. Not really. Everything. It's for I remember, sale. I remember, at the right price. That's not our law. I remember at the right guy, price. A guy had told me before, if I want it, I'll take it from you. <laughs> yeah. He told me that about my Nova one yeah. time. And I believed him. So. Yeah. yeah Jay, we'll, we'll tell that little story real quick. JJ, I don't know if you know the man, but there's a good friend of ours that we ran around with for a long time, did this street racing shit with. And uh, he's Wood. And like everybody knew him before I, <gasps> before I came into this deal. So. His name was Jerry, but. He had one fucked up eye, you know what I mean? So we called him Tangle Eye, and uh, T-E-P is what they called him, <laughs> Tangle Eye Peggerwood. So his name was Jerry. He he was a a, a real straight shooter like yourself. <laughs> and yeah. uh, the first time yeah. we <laughs> – <laughs> everything in here is an inside joke. Yep. We inside. I mean, other than the bullet holes. Yep. You know, we, uh, yeah. That's, that's a real bullet hole. They're there, half JJ. inside. Uh, so this, this guy – we had a, a reputation for being a bad character, and uh, he wanted Sean's Nova. Man, he was First, a good dude. He just did bad shit. Yeah, you know, I you know, like. you, yeah, <laughs> kind of, you know, that's ex, it's exactly how I explained yeah. you to my mom. <laughs> <laughs> so we met this guy on the side of the road going to a big street race. He was working. Uh, he was on his way to work. He was on his way to work. It just so happened in he a had, big van. He had a, he had a, a big, big van, van and stuff. He was headed to the same town we were to do some work. And uh, it was empty at the time. <laughs> he was expecting to fill it up. So this he had plans. <laughs> he had some plans on going to cash days with us in Dallas and filling that bitch up. He said, "Well, well wait a minute. So everybody in Dallas is going to be out street racing." So nobody's going to be at home or at their business. <laughs> yeah. uh, so, so he met us on the way down there and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm telling, I'm telling him about him to Sean. I'm saying, man, I've known this guy for a long time. He's wild and he's crazy. And we get along great for some reason, me and this guy, we just get along great. Yeah. And, uh, and me and Dave used to hang out with him all the damn time, man, me and Dave and him, we, we had a good damn time together, you know, cause Dave's, he's a real straight shooter too. You know what I mean? You get, that's a, that's a group of straight shooters. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> so Dave who? Uh, your friend, Wormy Dave. Yeah, yeah, the worm. You know the I guess, worm. I guess opinions like assholes. Everybody got one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was sarcasm. Uh, yeah. So anyway, so we meet this guy on the side of the road on the uh, way to work, and uh, he tells Sean how he opens the trailer, and he says, "Man, let me he's see like, your what car." What do you got in there? Yeah, he says, "Let yeah. me see your car." What do you got in there? Sean opens it up. And there's a Nova, and now Jerry is partial to Novas. Yeah, he he, he has a thing for Novas. Hey, you know man. what I mean? So. <laughs> So he saw this Nova and he went, ooh, man, I got to have that. He said, I got to have it. And he said, how much for the Nova? And Sean said, oh, it ain't for seven. Now, Sean's at this time was rich. <laughs> before he started racing. <laughs> yeah, before we got on this TV show, Sean was rich. I wouldn't say rich. You know, I followed yeah. Sean around picking shit up for myself. You know what I mean? Like, And now he does it to me. No, <laughs> <laughs> yep. uh, so Sean was rich. He had... All the money, all the cars. I, I didn't have all the money. He had I had all, all the cars. The shit. He had all the shit. So, Jay, uh, Jerry Tangle Eye, he said, "Man, how much for Nova?" Sean said, "It ain't for sale. It ain't for sale." He said, "No, nah, man." Just put the pro charger on it. And we're we're going under win that cash. Yeah. Uh, and if it wouldn't have been for Vet Man no, yeah. in the first round, <laughs> in the first uh, round, <laughs> he said, "He said, no, nah, everything's for sale." And Sean and he got his whole crew with him now, workers. Yeah. Were, you know, yeah. Yeah. In their black uniforms, and they're, uh, it was cold, so they had like stocking caps, they had stocking toboggan, caps toboggan on, and, and they looked yeah. really long, <laughs> but bunched up by their foreheads. And, uh, and they all had gloves on and shit. <laughs> so he said, "No, nah, everything's for sale." And we're in Sean's trailer in a confined little space here. Mm -hmm. And Jerry wasn't a little dude; he's a big dude. He is. And uh, he tattooed. This is the first he, time I ever he met. He had him. tattoos on every inch of his body, and that's no lie. I mean, I, the the man had a tattoo down the side of his dick that said. Peckerwood. So, and it had a smiley face on the end of it too. Yeah. And, uh, I'll take your word and, for that. No, he Dave, Dave. He <laughs> hey, and he didn't mind at all showing it to no, you. No, Dave, hey, he told us that. Not we at all. We didn't believe him. Dave said, if you're a man, you'll put it in my hand and held his hand out. And ain't nobody going to do that. This motherfucker did it. Fucking unrolled it right there on him. <laughs> yep. So, uh, anyway, so we're standing in this trailer and Tangle Eye gets all weird and he's like, no, man, I, I just asked you how much for the fucking car. And Sean's like, I'm telling you, ain't no money in the world get this car from me. And he sat there and he looked and it got quiet for a minute and he kind of got close to Sean and he said, if I want it, motherfucker, I'll take it from you. And, and, and Sean was just like, all right. 
And, but I, I mean, what do you say to that? And I had you told know, Sean I mean, about the dude, and I told him, hey, man, you know, we, we respect him. He respects us, you know, but we're all good. He's a good dude. And so Sean, he wasn't going to buck up on him because it was a friend of mine. You know what I mean? You know, same way you do your people. And so Sean was like, all right, fair enough. He said, well, I guess you're going to have to take it from me. And he sat there, and he looked at him, and it was a real tense moment. It was. I was just ready for everybody because, to get out of my trailer. Because me and Sean and all our people are, are like, well... And then him, well. and him and all the guys that was working with him, the workers, they was like, well, and nobody said nothing for about, felt like I think 30 he was seconds. just testing me. He was. And then he goes, he goes, huh? And he goes, he started laughing. He goes, man, I'm just fucking with you. Just like that. And yep. everybody, and then everybody just kind of started laughing, but it, he was just trying to see. Yeah. But as we walked out of the trailer, he goes, but for real. Hey, and then it's, yeah, as he was you walking know? out of the trailer, <laughs> I was he like, hey, looked at him. I said, man, hey, I heard some stuff about you said, and I believe you, man. He told I him as soon you. as he walked out of the trailer, he goes, I like you, Sean. He goes, I like you. He goes, but for real, if I want it, I'll just take it from you. He yep. goes, he goes, when I want something, people will park it in their living room so I can't get to it. Yeah. And I was like, hey, Whoa. and ever since then, man, we've been we, parking we've in his always, living room. <laughs> <laughs> Ever since then, the remodeling started. I drive that bitch in my living room every night. Uh, but no, he was, he was a good. Now he didn't. Yep. Uh, after that little uh, job that he did that that weekend, he got man. They caught him. They like got that. him on some bullshit. They got him on some bullshit. And he, he left for a little. He went while. away for a little. While. And they come back and then man, they got him on some other bullshit. It's weird how that works with this dude. Yeah, but uh, keep on keep on just picking on that dude. <laughs> but ever since that day, man, we me and him got along great. You know. I don't know. Yeah. He's a cool dude. He was. He was. He was a good damn dude. But anyway, so everybody in the world is 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 talking about you and and whether they hate you or they love you or whatever, they're all talking about you. You know what I mean? And you got that kind of swag about you where you don't really give a fuck about what anybody else thinks, and you're gonna do it your way and and everything else. And and I get that, and I dig it, and uh, we're behind you on it. And well, but, yeah, I'm I'm drawn to people that's like that because I can see myself in them. You know, I mean, I've done a whole bunch of shit my whole fucking life that people didn't think was cool, or you know, I mean, I just I never really cared what other people thought. You know, but now you didn't, you haven't faltered, you haven't changed your style because what the internet's saying. You ain't calling me up, going, man, ch- chief, ah, these people are just they're 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 shitting all over me on the internet. I'm gonna have to change. I'm gonna have to be different. You're gonna have to get me back on that show so I can change their mind. You didn't do none of that. You never even asked me about it. So I was surprised when when you have done these episodes because now you've been on television, what four times? Because you went on originally, yeah. you went on the other show. Yeah, the, yeah. <laughs> I call it that. What's that? What 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 do you mean? Explain that. What are you talking about? Because we yeah. honestly, man, hadn't seen it. Right. Uh-huh. So we've seen you four times now on television. You have been on our show as recent as the finale of season nine, um, in the JJ arm drop, which we'll talk about. Then you came to Oklahoma City with your crew and raced us, and we came to Memphis with our crew and raced you. And before that, a lot of people don't know, but before that, you, uh, you were, you raced the other crew, the down south crew. Yeah. See, I didn't, I didn't even know that. It wasn't much of a race. Uh, Cry, he gets a hold of uh, Tony. A little bit. He gets what? Uh, Cry Kelly gets a hold of Tony Peasley, and then you know Tony Peasley's a good. Which dude. one, Tony? Tony on your crew? He don't have a race car, but uh, Cry Kelly gets a hold of him, and then you know they ain't. He said, tells me, hey, bring me so many cars up to race. You know, and so. Now Tony y'all starts, y'all went to them. Yeah. Okay. Well, it wasn't y'all because we wasn't even in a group. He just okay. uh, he just started calling people, getting different people from all over. Like ninety percent of those guys never street raced with us. Okay, gotcha. I don't even know them. I don't even know their right. name. Half of them. Okay, so y'all went and, and raced. So we, them. you know, we, we they called me at the last minute. Hey, JJ, come go with us. So I go down there, and they I said, give us the address so we can go get some streets. You know, get some hits. Mm-hmm. They wouldn't even give us the address to the to the now since I've been out. It, it was the pad. Oh yeah. But I didn't have a clue back then, right. and. We get there, you know, it's like we're in jail. They wouldn't let us walk to the starting line, would they, Precious? They wouldn't. They wouldn't let us do anything. And I said, what? We can't even go to the damn starting line? You know, how do you know what to get a tune? How do you know anything? You see, so you couldn't look at the road, nothing. Oh, you couldn't like, get nowhere near close to it. It was nothing like a street race. You know how we do in our street race when we go, we right. all, 
hey, each to its own, go test before, do what well, yeah, you want right. to do. That's you. You yeah. have to make your own bond. I mean, that's a, that's a, that's a legal, the pad is a, a legal. It's a public we, it's road. It's a public road. Yeah. You know? But it's, so, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's a place where you, if you don't know where it's at, you don't know, right? Oh, yeah. No, and hey. they, 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 they had us tricked out. Even right. whenever you get down there and you're standing on the road, you can look around and not be able to tell how to get there. Right. The cars that came with us, maybe two or three, was really street racers. None of them were street racers. Okay. But it's like yeah. they didn't care. You know what I'm saying? So, no, they didn't. So you had a, so you didn't have a very good experience on that one or whatever. Now, in the beginning on our show, uh, you know, we experienced a little bit of that too, you know, because you know, the producers and whatever have their way of the way they want to do things and whatnot. But at some point you have to stand up for the, the actual race at some point it's, it's, it needs to be more about the race than it is about the show. So that's why when, when you raced us, you know, you know how we do it. We'll tell you where we're going to race. We'll tell you, you know, the road we will tell you the spot. You can go hit it all you want, you know? And if, and if for any reason we get to hit it before you, we'll, we'll let you come hit it too. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's, you know- just the way it was when we went to Memphis and raced you. Right here, you told what I'm me saying. where we're gonna race, and we went out there the night before. We was making hits. You know, if what I mean? had to do it like I had to do it in New Orleans, I wouldn't damn street race. I right. find something else. Well, it sounds like it wasn't quite as street race as, as you know. I met you, you know. in Dallas. Right. So that's was at a street race. So so before then, you know, so what they've seen you on TV or whatever, uh, you know, they get to make their opinions on who you are and whatnot. But but that's why we have this little show here because. This is kind of where we set the record straight. You know what I mean? And, Not everything's uh, as it seems on the on the show. Right. Has the show that you were on on that other show has it aired yet? Or yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. No, it aired. It aired in the, their first season of Down There. But <clears throat> it is what it is, and it ain't what you think. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, uh, but I didn't know you. I didn't even know you were on that show. I didn't see you on that show, so I had no idea anything about you. Uh, the way that we actually came about was. Uh, we went to Limpy, uh, put on a legal cash days, uh, in Dallas. in Dallas a year ago or so. Um, Half. or, you know, six <laughs> months ago, whatever. Hey, and, everybody and, was laughing at me and Precious with our little raggedy Noah. Yeah. And that was the one that wasn't a big deal. There wasn't any, there was only 14, you know, street, real street race cars there. there. Wasn't no pro mods. Wasn't no, you know, it was, it was as real as it gets. You know, it, it was a small pot. Limpy was running the show. It was a, it was a, it was a real deal cash days. And when I showed up there, Limpy had said no pro mods. That's where the whole no pro mod rule came from. We didn't make that fucking rule. I don't give a shit about the fucking. I had a pro mod. Why would I make a rule no pro mods when I had a pro mod? That's dumb. And you just got I it. I just too. built it, you know? So why <laughs> the hell just, am I going to make the rule there's no pro mods? Yeah. So Limpy said no pro mods in cash days. And that's all we give a fuck about is real street racing. So if we can't be in a real street race, what's the point of having it? So I wasn't allowed to bring my car. We brought the Murder Nova and Dominator and, and El Camino. We well, that actually there. took a little bit to get into that, too, though. You know, like he even said at first, I wasn't going to go. Yeah, he didn't want to let you got you got me into that deal. Right. Well, because he 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 like a lot of other people had just seen what was on the show and he had formed his opinion on who we had become or whatever. And he thought we weren't about it no more. And so I had to show him, hey, look, we still doing it. You know what I mean? So I remember the night meeting y'all down there first time. So when we showed up down there, that's when I showed up, I started looking at all the cars and the people there and I saw you and your your crew. And I was like. I said, okay, who, who, who were, who's that? Yeah. Who are them people? Who's the motherfucker with the loud ass generator, generator is what yeah. I said. That's the only thing that I said. Hey, you couldn't, I mean, we couldn't even talk in the driver's meeting because that fucking generator is so goddamn loud. And I was like, who the fuck's generator is that? Because I used to be that. Well, I used to be that guy. I used to have a generator that was that loud at tracks. You know, I mean, yeah. I've had people who actually pulled their pit area up and drove to the other side of the parking lot so that they didn't have to listen to my generator. You know, yeah. so and if I didn't have to use the extension cords, I would have done it. Yeah, if you'd have had your own, you wouldn't have been around either. Right. So, uh, but so we met you down there, and uh, you you introduced yourself, or I introduced myself. I can't remember how it went, but basically, first thing you did is you started jumping, you started jumping on 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 us, talking about the murder nova, and talking about this and that, and talking about how you were surprised that we was there. And I said, what, what, what the hell do you mean? You well, surprised? Y'all know it wasn't no cameras. Wasn't nobody else there. No, you know, none of the New Orleans guys, they <laughs> right. wasn't there. Wasn't that's nobody what, there. That's you said, you said, what are y'all doing here? And I said, what do you mean? We're here street racing. And you're like, you, you, it kind of took you back because you was like, I don't understand. There ain't no cameras here. Ain't no TV show here. The road ain't legal. Like it's not shut down. Like it's a real street race, motherfucker. This is what, what the hell you do? You fake motherfuckers doing here. See, I wasn't even around when all this happened. And so I was kind of like, well, this, this is what we do. We street race, whether you 
see it on the show or not, we still street. And you're like, you know, that kind of surprised you. You didn't think you was going to see any TV show guys there. No. You know what I mean? Because you wasn't there for that. You no. wasn't there to race TV show guys. You was there because it was a and street race. Legit street race. Right. And so, uh, but I started, you started betting with us after you seen that we well, got hey, down that street. And once I saw, once I saw Precious's car do work, well, once I saw Precious's car at first, I even told Sean, I said, that one right there, you got to watch out. I'm yeah. telling you, yeah. that car is set up and it will go down any road and it will be fast. And it, it is, it is the way it is on purpose. You know what I mean? And I, I kind of relayed that to my crew. And then just like I thought, as soon as the, as soon as the hands dropped, that car was rolling down that street. Yeah. And you and got, uh, Ronnie Pace the first round, right? I did. That's what I yeah. thought. Then so, backed it up with another. So then, you know, she, she puts Ronnie Pace out the first round and, and, and as a driver of that deal, you don't really get to see a whole lot of what's going on, you know? And because as soon as you get done racing, you're stuck down at the end. You don't come right. back. You don't go back to the starting line. So all you hear is, you know, hey, pace is out, you know? And I didn't know. And they were like, precious outran pace. And I was like, shit, you know? And we all figured pace at, at being the big heavy hitter at that race. He's uh, legit. Because, yeah, no, he is legit. Well, because he's no legit. He, and he goes down shitty roads and his car will go down and he knows how to get down. And that's you know, one of their roads. roads. And that's one, of, that's one of, that's their area. So I figured Pace was going to be a big heavy hitter in that. Uh -huh. uh, JB had told us that the S10, uh, Marcus Gaston, Marcus. he told us that that would be a heavy hitter, you know, and so I knew that we, that that was a heavy hitter. So when you took him out, it was like, okay, that's, they're the real deal. You know what I mean? And you weren't, I noticed that it wasn't like when other people have been to cash days and they want to start changing the rules. They want to start arguing. They want to start, you know, pissing limpy off. That wasn't what y'all was there to do. Y'all was there to get down how they was getting down and you were going to win man, that race. Man, I felt like that, you know, that was as legit and real and as right vibe. This last one, that was not right. Yeah. The last cash days There's was, no it was different. It wasn't, it was a different. No, I, I love boosting. He's all right, but he was trying, I feel like he was trying to do something that he didn't know nothing about. Just trying to run something. It was a and different then I feel. Like there was a uh, twenty other people that was there thinking that the cameras was going to mysteriously <laughs> There's show no up. No doubt about that. Because yeah. no what was they at the it. year when we was there? Right. When we was racing. Yeah. Not one of them guys was there begging to get into that. None day of them. Was there. Not one. Right. You know. I feel the same way, man. I feel so, the same way. You know, it was different, and I felt and, the vibe was different. You know, and, I was Jonathan then. That's when you know me and him said, "Chief, sat there and talk," and he, you know. Hey, you know, y'all, y'all big shot movie stars, but y'all kept it real with us. Yeah. Y'all didn't laugh at us. We on an open trailer. But it didn't I matter. I promise you right fucking now, I'd have been on an open trailer if I didn't have to stay in a motel. Yeah. The only you know, thing. There ain't no doubt about it. Always, my car would have been on an open trailer. We always roll to the streets on an open we trailer. We even contemplated doing it. But now it's so we tough. It yeah. It's, it's so yeah. tough now because of our cars. When somebody sees our car on a trailer, they are going to follow us everywhere. They'll follow you to the hotel. And then when you come out in the, mor in the morning, there'll be 30 there'll be fucking people out there. And they're know, taking and shit off your car and everything yeah, else. Right. So, so we weren't, but, but we real recognizes real. Jo uh, Josh Kayla says that to me a lot. And, you know, he's a pro skateboarder and me and him, we get along real good. We talk all the time and he, uh, he's one of the founders of the speed society. And right. he, he always says that real recognizes real. You right. know what I mean? And so there's certain people that you, click with and you jive with and and that just it works out and Birds so of a feather flock together exactly <laughs> and so from and i told you that night i go said go get you me know, a group you said jj said, you said jonathan you said go get you a group i and, said this is this is a real this is a real street racer right here and he's got real street racers with him and they they're down for real streets and i said so that's who we want on the show we don't want all the fakes and the dean carns and the you know we don't want that we want real street racers on the show because it it's worth it more to us, you know. What I mean, yeah. if we get to race a real street racer, then it it feels like we're doing something. It and ain't, it ain't worth it to race some dude who's never been on a street before and goes out there and smokes the fucking tires and you out running. What are you gonna do? Or, you gonna brag about that? Or worst Why case, no? I mean, or worst case scenario, they they well, get lucky and make a good lick and they beat you. The problem is, I mean, that's fine. I don't mind getting beat. I've been beat by the worst and the best. But when you know that you're not gonna get a rematch with that guy on a real road. Well, you know hey, I'm I mean? like this. Here's the way I'm at it in, in, in the street life. Uh, you know, hey, I don't act the same way at home as I do in the street. And I'm, of course, if you go to bars and they're, if they, they record everything you're saying at a bar and they take it home and show it to normal people, they're going to say right. you're a fucking idiot. Of course. But you know, hey, when I'm in the street, you know, I forget about those, and I, and I know it's B Street, B J J. But you know, more than anything, okay, say, uh, Sean, murder no. If you outrun me, 
I don't take that personal because you street and we love the same thing. Exactly. But now if some dumb dipstick <laughs> that's just chasing a camera ain't really trying to do nothing, he's doing it for the for all the wrong reasons, trying to be popular, trying to get famous. Trying to sell T-shirts yeah, or whatever. Yeah. Trying to live our life. He, hang on, hang on. Let me, let, me, let me open it up a little bit, trying right, to be us. Right. And, and, and it's, it's, it's different. I don't like to get beat by somebody like that. Yeah. Well, and it, it sucks to get beat by somebody like that, but then it also sucks knowing that if, if J.J., if you beat me, and I'm okay. going to. Which, which you know, <laughs> we all know ain't going to happen. But there if you, be, if you beat is. me, if you beat me, I know that I got to race you again. Okay. That's my, that's just inside of me. I don't I take scared to. money. Right. I know you don't. I've seen, I've seen what you did to Doc. So if you beat me. As a tactician. That was the funniest thing I've ever seen. If you beat me, I know that I can come to Memphis and, and, get, a ra- and get a race with you on anytime. the street anytime. No matter cameras, no cameras, road shut down. Don't matter if it. If it's Labor Day weekend, it don't matter. You, you might have to buy me out, but if I'm out, yeah. you're gonna get a race. And and <laughs> and I feel like one day I might get that call. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, hey, man, what but are I'm you a, doing this weekend? But I'm gonna get that race. <laughs> and a lot of those yeah. guys, we knew when we raced them, like, man, it's gonna suck if we get beat because you know we ain't ever gonna get another right. race with them. We we can't they're, go to their town and get a race with them on not, a normal night. They're, they're not, not racing for the love of the race. They're racing right. to to try to steal your show. And, and that's where, you know what I'm saying, that's why, you know. the biggest one that, that, that I know that is like that is, is the guy Tough from Chicago. You know what I mean? He, I have, he has followed me around since the, we went up there and raced him. And they prepped the road, made that big prep machine, whatever. They beat Dave, okay? They didn't do nothing special. They beat Dave, whatever. Well, all of a sudden, ever since then, he's followed me around all over the internet, telling everybody he wants to race me. And I've told him a hundred million times, you got to race anytime you want it. I'll right. race you anytime you want. But all he wants to do is, Talk about it on Facebook and then it comes off of Facebook, goes to text messages or instant messages or phone calls and he, he wants to know when the cameras are going to be there. He wants to know how much he's going to get paid right. to show up. Wants to, you know what I mean? And it's like, don't want to lose. It's like not that. the same. You know what I mean? I want to, I want to race the dude. If, if I race him and if I get beat, I want to know I get another race with the dude in the same circumstances. This guy isn't like that. And, and if he beats you, Dave will never, Dave chased him all over Missouri one time for hours trying to get a rematch with him. And it he was happen. in, the same parking lot with when us. people were racing he was illegally. in the same parking lot with us and yeah. i tried to race him and he and, wouldn't race and me. dave followed him to his right. hotel and he wouldn't race because the cameras weren't there you know what i mean and yeah so, how you feel like if you die beside somebody like that yeah if you die beside somebody racing and you know that they they believe in the same thing you believe in they honor it oh, and they different. love it if you don't hey if the lord call it i guess i'm gonna die today if, in this car if, but i don't want to die beside no damn no dick sucker well, no idiot yep <laughs> yeah yep. If, if that's what i'm saying when i go down through there and i risk my life and and everything else that i've ever earned or made or whatever i want to know that i'm risking it to be legendary, to be immortal, to be forever. You know what I mean? And if I, if I'm racing JJ the boss, the realest street racer from Memphis or from Marcus or wherever, the realest motherfucker I ever met, if I'm racing him on a real street and something happens, well, hey, something happens. You know what I mean? That's just the way it is. That's the way it goes. It was my, it was that, it was that time. Right. But man, if you're racing some TV, glory hound, you know, chasing. somebody trying to get on yep. American Idol, you know what I mean? Like, there ain't nothing. There's nothing legendary about that. There's Man. no glory in beating that person. Hey, just l- just like what I told you whenever you got done, you know, stealing all my fucking thunder away when we was in Memphis. <laughs> if you would have set the fucking front end of that car down on my wing, wouldn't have bothered me one bit. How man. did you hold that car down? That was one of my tactician moves. I figured if I could <laughs> throw a little power at that car, the first thing, the common, you know, what's Doc going to do? He's going to jump off of it and look at me if I'm yeah. on the back wheels and I'm going to shoot on by him. Really? Yeah, only one fool would, no, two fools probably would do, hold that down. <laughs> yeah, no, there's, there's two. Cause I, yeah, hey, I know. I, I, I watched you do it and then I, and, but I wasn't going to let out cause I knew I didn't have much real estate left to get around you. you know <laughs> Man, I, mean? I had that race. Yeah, that, you did. Third buddy. wheelie, I would, I was gone. <laughs> hey, Man. When I let out the button, I said, I'm cracked right now. I'm cracked. Yep. And then I yep. watched them ride that motherfucking wheelie out there and I was like, oh God. And then, Finally, thank God, things started moving and happening. And I went around him, but Jesus, it was it was actually it was closer yeah. than the TV show even made it look like. That's how you know if somebody's real street, if they can hold that damn car down, knowing that this fool might run over them. Yes, I'm telling you right now, I, I like That's, I told you when I got out of that thing, man, I, it wouldn't have bothered me one bit if it. I mean, yeah, some fucking idiot that shouldn't even be out there racing me. Yeah, I'm gonna be upset. <laughs> You know, but it wouldn't have bothered me at all, man. You hey, set that thing down on the back of my car. When I crashed my car, I was racing Brian Davis from Detroit. And when we first met and talked to Brian Davis, we weren't sure that he was street. 
You know what I mean? But he came here and he raced Kyle Kelly off the camera the night before. He was grudge racing his own people. He was real street. And he that was, was the only time that Kai had, as far as I know, had ever done it. And, and there was, was a video that he told us he didn't he didn't want. He to. told us if we come down there, he told them go those guys. If y'all come to New Orleans, I'll come to Memphis. What's that been, Precious? Two, three, oh, last uh, two years two, ago? Two, at least two years he ago. He never showed up. You couldn't hire him to show up. He's not going to show up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, then go make, and then he go make a damn go. I'm like this. Man, do what you do. Do you. And I'm going to respect it. I ain't going to stereotype you. Hey, you do you, and I'm going to do me. Yeah, but then don't he, lie about who but, you are. But don't stunt. Don't get on the Facebook. Here's what he does. I can't use Facebook because I got a damn flip phone. But him <laughs> and the Bird Brothers go to Memphis. And you know they scared to death, but they sneak in there. And they make a little video. In, and Memphis, then he's, in Memphis? In I Memphis, on our street, AP. Oh, and he I says, seen that. here's what it yes. says. When, where you want it, JJ the boss. But so they didn't they, get a hold of you. So if you say that, no. But if when, you say where, that, Sean. How much? When, where, and how much. So if you say that, okay, I immediately get on there. And I tell him, what I say, $10,000? $10,000 first of the year. I'm done talking. He never shows up. Do you owe me $10,000? <laughs> I mean, if you didn't agree to the punk out money, then somebody should have showed up, you know. Yeah, but yeah, you know, and you know, he was just doing that for fame, though. That's well, when yeah. I had come to race yeah. with y'all, so he run and jump on it. You know what I'm saying? That's when he run and jumped on that shit. You know what I'm saying? You, you never call my name. You never want to race me. You never do nothing until I go race and and you think someone's talking. Like when I raced a uh, a uh, Birdman and beat him down there in Tulsa. Yes. Yeah. Immediately he gets on the internet. Kai does and starts blowing the internet. Man, up I drove about two, JJ. two hours at about I don't know about 120. You was doing what? Because you caught me pretty goddamn fast. 170, 160. I, I bet I was doing 120 the whole way there in the Trailblazer. Yeah. And uh, well, I mean, goddamn, it was a JJ the Boss and Birdman on the yeah, street. Yeah, JJ the Boss and Birdman on the street. I don't find out about this race until what 10:30. Yeah, it was late. 10:30, 11 o'clock. Well, because Birdman had said that he wasn't going to race. Until the race was over, well, I didn't think track. it was going to happen. I didn't anyway. think it was going to happen. We had to stalk him out, but hey, he stood up. Hey, right. but he stood up and did it. He but did all that. I, I know him. is that I wasn't going to, even if there was a fucking slight chance of that race happening, I wasn't going to miss it. You know, so so I hauled ass by my fucking self, and you hauled ass by your fucking self, right? Down there, and we got to watch one, you know, badass fucking race. Hey, and I yeah. cleaned house too. I mean, oh, yeah, no, I made, made a lot money. of money. Anybody now, who fucking said anything, I took that bet. Now, so. in, in a little bit in Kai's defense here, because I just don't want people to think that we're just doing this to shit on Kai Kelly because we're not. But in Kai's defense, no, we he's, actually, he's a nice guy in reality. We actually, we actually in real life, we actually don't even we don't even shit on the dude. We don't care to. We don't even we don't even like to bring him up to be honest with you, just because it causes so much drama on the internet that we don't need. Yeah. But in Kai's defense, you know when he is presented with the when he's there and the shit's going on and everybody's doing it. He will street race. Yep. He will street if, race. If there's a hundred cameras there, he will. Yeah. <laughs> I've yet to see him do it. I'm saying keeping it a hundred. Right. right now, I don't know what you know he did before, or whatever. But um, you know, me and him have had our our go arounds or whatever. But like he will street race or in in when well, everybody's doing it, he has. He raced Brian Davis. He raced Brian Davis here, and the I know night, there was the no cameras before. there that night. You know, and, and uh, it was for money, but it was a grudge race for money or whatever. Was now was that before he made it? Bit before he made was, the big time camera. That was before it's as bad as it is now, and that was that was before that that Kai Kelly did all the live videos and the shit. Yeah, and well, well and because, if you remember the video that was out there, they and he was like Brian checking, Davis did. Yeah, Brian, Brian Davis, Davis made the video, Kai Kelly and, they, street and racer, they were shitting on him Kai pretty good. He he had to. He really had no other option. I ain't not going to do, you know what I'm saying? No, because he's a nice no. guy. He is a nice guy when you talk to him, you know what I'm saying? And But here's yeah. where I'm at. Okay. I just do don't you remember like the when we was in Dallas? stuff, which he's agreed that he's not going to do that anymore. No but yeah, I remember he, when he was in Dallas. Okay, my car. You know, I don't know nothing about no damn computers. I ain't fancy. And I'm a man. I'll fight you, but yeah. I don't know nothing about that old fancy shit. <laughs> right, right. Uh, and my my partner, you know, he rolled me ride or die, Jason Carpenter. Right. He worked, and he, when he, he'll pull eight, ten hours at his job, then he'll come and help me. Work on my car, me and him together. But I had been off goofing up and had messed the computer up, pressures that got on it and doing a little something. And the, <laughs> the, the first stage of nitrous was messed up. And then you roll over there to Dallas when I raced Kai, I jumped off the button and it caught on fire. Yeah, it probably backfired the carburetor. So we're working on it, trying to figure it out. Right. You know, if it had been like my other cars with my chips and my little turn dials, right. I wouldn't have had to wear it. No, like, you needed a laptop to work on this one. Right? Yeah, he's, a, he's a di- JJ like the that. dinosaur. And yeah, so you come no, over I remember there and I got a call that you were going to race uh, Ronnie Pace for a bunch of money in Dallas. And I ran him for 
and and so I, raced him. I hauled ass over to the spot because I wanted to be there for that race. I wanted to I, see it because it's street. I want to see it. With no racing, cameras, there was like a handful yeah. of us. Guys. Hey, I had dinner reservation. I was going out, and a guy had been right. lost first round. I was out, and so. But when I heard that JJ was racing Ronnie Pace, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go check and it I out. I run Ronnie Pace because you know Ronnie Pace is real. He yep. is. Hey, he is. His, you know, he's, he's a little wild and a little reckless re- sometimes. He's as real, but he's real, real as it gets. He's real. Yeah, great and, people. And so uh, I, I hauled that over there. And when I got there, um, you and Ronnie was making some test hits or whatever. And uh, uh, we had noticed uh, Jackie noticed that there was something with your wheelie bars. And I had no. I was trying to help you with your carburetor deal because you said, "Hey, man, look, I don't know computers." And your your carp carp even said. Look, man, I'm trying, and I think I, I think that it's it's he, this, and I think that it's that. He goes, but yeah. you know, and I said, well, if you don't mind, I mean, I'll put another set of eyes on it, or whatever. And he said, dude, please, by all means, have a look at it. Now, two heads better than one if one of them right. is a gold head. And so all I was doing was going through the settings. Carp, Carp actually found the problem. Right. And he said, I got, it. I got it. It's fixed. And then you made a hit, and it was fast. You know, yeah. and it was. Then I raced Ronnie Pace. Then you raced and I, Ronnie I, Pace. I beat him, and you know, I beat Ronnie. Yes. And, and then, then I walked over to Kai. Kai comes pulling up. He got his car unloaded. You, you, Kai. Uh, he, his car well, was unloaded. No, you know, no. Okay, hang on. Okay, hang on. The back door was change. down. The back door was down. That's going to change my whole he, fucking no, story. He did not have the car unloaded. He did have the back door of his trailer down, and he was looking for a race at the spot. And I and I walked up to him, <laughs> and what did I say? And you said that he could have. First, you said I got my car fixed. First, you said my car's fixed. Ain't gonna happen again like it did last night. Let's go. You're out. He was out. He was out. You were out of the race. He was out of the race. Would, so it wasn't. A, it wasn't like you were preventing him from making the big show or nothing like that. He was he, out. Nothing. He was out. N- nothing right. to lose. His trailer door was down, and you offered him a race for whatever amount of money he wanted. You said you you wasn't you wasn't going to try and buy him out of it or whatever. You said whatever, and, and I think that the number got thrown out about twenty five hundred bucks or something. And then, but he didn't want to do it at that spot, right? Because it wasn't no cameras. <laughs> I'm not gonna say why he didn't want to do it. That's why, but he didn't want to do it at that spot. Okay, but why didn't he want to do it at that spot? Uh, from well, I did, I did not talk to the man. So himself. I tell him, listen, what I, I didn't. Was there something wrong with this? Listen, this because literally, chief I didn't trying know to, chief I trying, chief to, trying to, to trying to no, cushion it. He don't no. want to dog him out, and I ain't dogging no, 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 the dude out. No, I'm not trying to dog I get him out. That, I'm just trying to make sure that I to offer him the hit. I tell that fool, you want this race? I'm gonna give you the hit. This whole deal. I I didn't know that this shit was going on, and and we didn't. It was a spur of a moment. Exactly. I didn't. I didn't talk to Kai. You know, what did the road look like? Me and Kai. Concrete. Is there something wrong with it? Hell no, no. The road was great. The road was good. The road was. The Me road and Ronnie Pace raced on it. I watched. I watched people go down that road. The road was good. Road, road, why road, didn't want, I mean, because well, Kai wouldn't want to shit. Because no road. cameras was there, dude. So what I was, what I was, I didn't, I didn't talk to Kai at the spot because me and Kai ain't close. But from what I gathered and what I heard from secondhand information, and it may not be right, but what I heard was that he didn't want to race JJ on that road because JJ had a hit on that road, and he didn't. What did I say then? But then you told him... Get a hit. Get a hit. Get as many hits as you want. And then you told him he wanted to go to another spot. And you said, no, no, we ain't leaving. We're at this spot. We ain't Where busted 5, yet. Where 5,000 people are and, and, a, and, and a bunch of cameras. He what are you trying to do? He, you, were, you were there. Why um, would you <laughs> a bunch of cameras? It's, it's about the street. I mean, <laughs> and, hey, I, I can't. I can't. If I'm a playboy, if I'm a... If I'm gonna tell both sides, shoot it right. All I want you to do. So when he said that they wanted to go to another spot, the spot that was thrown out was the meeting spot for cash days where everyone was at at 10:30, and this was at this was at 10:15. So and he done been down there two or three days. I hadn't been there. I was working. So uh, it did seem that that he wanted to go where all the the crowd was. Now, where all the cameras were. So then JJ got in his. he got in his, his ego or his My head feelings. a little bit. He got in his feelings a little bit. He got a little pissed off. He said, I don't understand. He said, he got his door, trailer door down. Nobody's here. It's the perfect place. Cops ain't here. We're racing and testing all night. All he's his like, people was there. He said, I don't his understand. crew was there. He said, why? Yeah, his, his whole, everybody was there. He's like, I don't understand why he won't race. Now, I understand the Bird Brothers not wanting to race. Well, they were still in it. Because they're still in, still cash, in the cash I get that. Right. I, I that, that. That would be stupid. I respect that. And I stood there with one of the Bird Brothers. I don't know what, I don't know his name, and, and I, no disrespect to them. I've never talked to them at, at length. But And I said, I said, look, I'm going to be honest with y'all. If y'all go to the road that the meeting spot's on for cash days and race, you are disrespecting the people that are still in the Most race. Most definitely. And I said, because you're going to fuck it up. For, for the rest else. of the night for cash days, you know, cause we don't know where Limpy's gonna pick. You might, you might be racing right there at the meeting spot. I don't know, but you don't want to be racing anywhere around the meeting spot where a parking lot full of race cars is and all the money for cash days. Like that's, that's, <laughs> yeah. that's a little if, weird. And David and the bird, I don't know which bird brother it was, but he said, he said, I agree with that a hundred percent. He said, that sounds fucking silly. He said, I'm still in this race. I got a chance at this money. They're going to go fuck it up. I'm going to get mad. And I said, and you yep. should be mad, you know, so then you come back over to the group. And said, fuck it. Unload that motherfucker. We'll do it right here 
for any amount you want, 2,500, whatever. And you got the back tire. And I went, oh, like, that's rough. When somebody, Man, you when see that pass he made trailer, on that real street, he couldn't go down. You when know your trailer what door is down and you've been told you can make a hit before and, and, and you got you a, the back and tire. And then you get the back tire. That How you turn that down, I do not know. It took more self. I couldn't have done that. And then JJ said, you can leave. I'll chase he you. Gave him he the gave him the, the leave. And I was just like, oh. I told that fool I'll give you the back tire and the hit if you want it then. Oh, my God. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, here's where I'm at with it. He yeah, has but, been pestering me. He has said, and you I know, remember Jay, they asked tell Ronnie me what Pace. all he's going to do. They asked Ronnie Pace what he thought of the road. Ronnie said, this is a good road, man. I don't know why you didn't race this on a good it, road. Ronnie? Yes. Yeah, but look, in my opinion, man, if he was any sort of man and you were begging that much for a race, he should have said, man, I'll do it head up. Right, but you here, don't here. take fucking the hit and the back tire from a car that on paper shouldn't even be running with you. And then here, you know, here, on a good fucking road, I had a dude try to give us two thousand dollars to a thousand one time because he showed up with a Pro Mod S10 to race my old heavy truck. <laughs> I told Precious, <laughs> we you should have took it from that dude. No, nah, we don't take. You, we, don't, we, we don't. I remember take, that. There's certain kind of money we I don't take. That shit. All money ain't you good. You don't money. take scared money. That's well, right. I also remember the dude that made that bet and and. uh <clears throat> he was trying to make it right because he knew there he wasn't was real street. It right, but he was that was money to. that was gone. So we knew we knew we knew that money was gone. <laughs> We're getting a little off topic here, but but we'll, we'll bring it back in. So to the people at home that that don't really know where this JJ the boss character came from, like. Who are you? What are you? Why are you? Yeah, Why are you us, here? Tell us what got this you into I'm gonna this. I'm going to tell you. I, I, I've street raced my whole life. You know, been around, you know, poor country street racing. You know what I'm saying? At different styles. We ain't got no And you're from money. the you're from the area that's just west of Memphis there, the west side of Memphis. Right? I was born right. in Memphis, Tennessee, okay. St. Joseph Hospital. Okay, there you go. And I'd lived in and out of Memphis my whole life. You know what I'm saying? Right. Uh, Joiner, Arkansas, right there on the Mississippi on the, on the Mississippi River, right there on the line. Yeah, because a lot of people town. don't know that, that Memphis is on both sides of that. Deal, right, it's West you know? Memphis, and then there's right. it's West Memphis, which is which Arkansas. is real nice. West Memphis is a real nice yeah, place. Well, opinions. <laughs> 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 Just slow down. <laughs> uh, and uh, and you know, then it's Memphis. You know, what I'm saying. Right. So you know, in in a lot of you know, so we street race in Memphis a lot because of the the cops there's a lot of action going on they don't harass us as much yeah you know they'll yeah. shoot your motel up and they'll, they'll they, do certain they games goddamn sure will. so they don't trip on us about racing as much right because there's so, nothing because they're busy to, with bad, homicide right. and shit. so we there. race yeah and i'm in dallas and i meet this fool chief you know what i'm saying <laughs> he's we sit there and we talk you know talk and argue back and forth you know what i'm saying but then we respect each other and he and we gamble he didn't say nothing about my little ugly car that I had, <laughs> puddle jumper. And didn't say nothing about the girl driving short. Yeah, Sean made a joke about her damn jellies, her shoes. We ain't forget that. <laughs> you did that. Oh, yeah. yeah? She was in you yeah, know, shorts the and the tank, tank top. top. Yeah. 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 Fucking right. Yeah. yeah. Instead All of saying she's we a badass chick driving. And I looked and she's over there in. and I went, oh, my God. She don't have a jacket on. <laughs> <laughs> she got an open face. Fucking <laughs> 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 I felt like a bitch fucking lining up next to her, man. I'd take my jacket off. Nah, you know? <laughs> but you know, you guys didn't steal your jacket. Y'all, y'all, didn't, off my shirt. Y'all, y'all didn't give us no, y'all respect it because we were street. Yeah, you know? definitely, definitely. Yeah, that, because fucking two years ago, that was us. Right. You know what I mean? And, and I, this motherfucker right here, I never used to wear a helmet or anything racing right. my car. God, Dude, I had a fucking, the same, well, the same car, same fucking car I have now. And I used to race that thing with no helmet. You right. know, and I, I always, even today, if I got a race on the street tonight, I would race in these sandals. I right. do it all the and, time. And I test in it. You know, I mean, that's just that's like what jellies. I do. They're like jellies. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, that's just what I do. But they're but fireproof I don't sandals. But other people whole do Memphis want to come often. up and just like choke your ass out for, for talking for about the that? queen of the streets for real. No shit. Yeah. I, you know. I, I probably said no offense and LOL and all <laughs> well, that they shit. They didn't hear the tone in your voice. Right <laughs> then, y'all hadn't, you know, y'all hadn't made that, right. that family, you know. Yeah. But anyways, I talked to Chief. And Chief says, you know, he go we back and forth, street talking, street stuff, yeah, and probably a hundred other things we shouldn't be talking about. Always, that's but, that's another reason. That's part <laughs> of it. Yeah, that, hey, real recognizes real, right? Yep. 
I birds the, of a feather. I got the I got the top bunk though if they do, <laughs> and you got to get the tray in the morning. I don't get up to like nine or ten. So when they slide the tray, you get the you get yeah, the y'all tray. Both fucked in. <laughs> he ain't gonna be up before nine or ten. <laughs> but anyways, this fool tells me, hey, do y'all street? Y- y'all got a group that y'all street race? And I said, yeah, it's a group of us guys that street race. You know what I'm saying? And I, I, he said, man, get y'all guys. A, a, I want real street racers. I don't want no people that just and just trying a, to get in the a, camera. A, a I want street. it real, a and real I want street. a real street. And I said, if you want it real, I said, bring your ass to Memphis. It's real as it gets. And, he and I lying. said, nobody's never been there. Yeah, and he wasn't and lying. Now, you've raced around there your whole life, basically. My whole life. Right? And it's always been uh, your, that kind of situation. It's always been arm drop type stuff. It's always been asphalt roads and, you know. Chases. Are, you know, you get with the, here's where it's at. You know, you, you know, getting to Tarla Point, you come back, you told me, hey, go get your group. We're going to come race y'all. And that's when I made Memphis Street Outlaws J.J. the boss. Right. Because, you know, a hundred fools can call something Memphis Street Outlaws. Right. Well, and everybody kept asking me who the hell you were, and I was telling them, well, that's J.J. Well, who the fuck is J.J.? Well, he's the boss of Memphis. You know what I mean? So they started just J.J., he's the boss of Memphis, and then before you know it, it was J.J. the boss. You know what I mean? Right. So, yeah, I get that. And, you but, know, my But you've been doing it longer than, than what these people gonna, understand. You've been doing it forever. I've been street racing and in the streets my whole life. Right. You just, there, there ain't a lot of internet there. And my cousin, I co-signed that. Yeah, your cousin. Oh, yeah. He'll, he said, he'll, 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 he'll he know me whole life. He said, I've known him my whole life. <laughs> I know life. him my whole life. He ain't <laughs> never lied. <laughs> but, you know, I, I ain't been into it. I love that guy. It don't matter what JJ says. It doesn't matter. You can ask him, man. Yeah. You going to lie for JJ just like Precious yeah. did. You going to lie for JJ? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, JJ yeah. will tell him. He said, "Yeah, he can, he can vouch for it. He can vouch for it. He goes, I've been knowing him my whole life. He ain't never lied. <laughs> <laughs> That's the bandit. <laughs> yeah, I like him a lot. Just yeah. like in the driver's meeting when we asked Precious, you going to lie for JJ? Yeah. She goes, well, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? How could you, not, how could you respect hey, her if she, she didn't? Exactly, exactly. And, she and didn't lie about it. Your people are super loyal. They ride, we ride together. Every, if man, I, I say something, you know, the one dude, I don't know how close your guy. We got in a little heated deal, you know what I'm saying? And, and it wasn't, everything <laughs> wasn't showed. It was heated. They had, wasn't nothing showed. They you know kept what I'm saying? That shit out and, of there. And, and I got to the point where I, you know, hey, stomp his effing brains out. Yes. And that's what's getting ready to happen. Yes. That's how no, it is. I remember that. But Old now, dude I'm didn't like bat this. an eye, man. He stepped up, yeah. you know? Yeah, you know, you, I, I, rule, I, I want to treat everyone you, like yeah, I want to be We were in treated. a little bit of a fight there, and, and things were getting heated. And, I, <laughs> and you, were, you were wanting to fight a certain person, and, uh, but and hey, things the, were getting heated, the, and everybody was kind of crowding around. And you out. said, it you turned said out listen, great. you said, if that dude right there moves, you stomp Stop his brains out. brains out. And he stepped up. I ain't fucking playing, he said. And I was, oh, so. So obviously you in your in your circles and where you're from you've made you know you've made yourself known and you have people that want to be a part of what you're doing and so you know you got something special there and it's awesome and it, they'll it's, follow it's, me off the end of the world yes they will and they're yes. gonna treat treat everyone they're gonna respect you and they're gonna treat you like yes. like no other now unless once, I, once they get gotten, the, the the order not to right once we've gotten to know them it we are close you know what I mean we I don't we, it's not I didn't. I haven't met none of them that I don't like. Yeah, yeah, Your yeah. son's one of the nicest fucking people I've ever Good. met in my his life. His fucking daddy's badass, too. J.J. the boss. Yeah. Like, you know <laughs> <laughs> he get it from his daddy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah J.J., he's a straight yeah. shooter. Yeah. I'm that doughboy. His daddy's a straight shooter, <laughs> yeah. man. Yeah. This, is, this is how solid doughboy is. This, yeah. is. this is this is real family. We're at home. You remember this, Precious? And I'm working on a 73 <laughs> Camaro. Oh, no, no, you remember it, right, Precious? <laughs> <laughs> you got to get somebody to vouch for you before you <laughs> tell the story. <laughs> Listen, tell, 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 him, tell him what you did. I'm working on this split bumper Camaro, right, putting a carburetor on it. You know, it it probably runs nine O's and eighth. But, you know, I'm going to race somebody. I got to race with this uh, one of them G8, like them four-door V8 yeah, cars yeah, or whatever yeah. they are. You know, and he's a farmer guy. He got you know, a little money. I'm working on this car, trying to get it lined out. And Precious comes out where I'm at. You know, she knows when I'm working on a car. Leave me alone because I'm slow. I had, it takes me a second to figure <laughs> something out. And, and I said, what, Precious? She says, JJ, there's a dude here with a gun. And I said, what? what? And what the hell? He was drawn down. He was drawn down. And I said, so I, I said, hey, come on, Doughboy. You know, most time Doughboy at my son. House? At my house. Woo. You know, my son, he rolls with me. That's a brave man. So he takes it. Listen, this was crazy. So he takes in. Uh, he says, uh, uh, so we go. I said, let's roll, though. So me and Doe go over there, and I said, what's going on, brother? You know, I'm the kind of guy, if my group's wrong or we owe you oh, money, yeah, yeah. No, you're we're going to pay we, we know that. I stand for that. right. And you're going to find out first. I stand for right. Right. You're not going to take nothing from me. You're not right, going right. to right. Gonna just tell me any damn thing, and I believe it. Right. So the dude puts the dude got the rifle, 7-millimeter magnum, you know, swinging it, going crazy. I tell Precious, hey, 
get in the house with the damn women and the kids. Get them in the house. I don't give a damn. So Precious rounds all the kids and the, the women, the normal people that ain't ready to die that day. Yeah. <laughs> she rounds them up. I tell the dude, hey, man, put the gun up, you know, and this is kind of how I work in the streets when it comes to racing. You know, if a call, yeah, no, it. if, it's, if it. it's edgy, hey, it's edgy. Let me see it. I'll pay. Let's work it out. Let's work it out. But you've for always, right. when, it's, when the when the when the truth comes out or when the video comes out, you've always said, "Good race, shook the hand, paid the money." Yeah. yeah. But the dude, you know, I'm telling him, put the gun up, put the gun up. He don't. He's wall eyed crazy, like he's on no telling what. And I said, man, put that gun up. Whatever's going wrong, I'm thinking to somebody in the circle maybe owes him money or anything. Right, I don't right, know. Right. And I said, I'm going to make it right. Yeah, Just definitely. put the gun up. Mm-hmm. And he wouldn't put the gun up. So I tell Doughboy, my son, I said, hey, get this fool tension. I'm finna knock this fool out. We finna <laughs> get that gun. So, you know, Doughboy's as nice as you say, Sean. Oh, yeah. He's a teddy boy. Yeah, yeah. He, he's a good guy. He really is a teddy boy. But now he's yeah. strong as three good men. <laughs> <laughs> So, so I tell Doughboy, I say, hey, hey, I 100% <laughs> believe that shit, too. Say he shit. looks strong as a motherfucker. Yeah, like, really. He really is. And, uh, he looks pretty sturdy. So I tell Doe, hey, Doe, get his tension, son. And and my people, you know, all of them, they don't roll until I say roll. Yeah, we've noticed. You know, and, mm-hmm. I, and I said, they're going to follow me off the end of the world, but I'm going to do right by them. Right. I tell Doe, get his tension. I'm going to knock this fool out. We're going to get that gun. So Doe goes to talking to him, and I see him when he turns. You know, if you're... You know, I'm a boxer. I know you watch stands to the yeah. strong position. Right. And so I know, and I'm watching him when Catch he turns. Him on the weak foot. Right. So when he turns, you know, I'm saying I knock you his ass out. But I'm left-handed. You got to be careful. I'll be turned left because I'm left-handed. You think I'm yeah. weak? I'm left-handed too. Yeah. So I take in, <laughs> and right. so Doe gets his tension, the dude's tension. I knock the dude out, and we, I grab him. The What happens? The gun goes off. I'm like, you all right, son? <laughs> this is the greatest story. You all right? You all right, son? This is on the mic. Hey, hey, this shit should be on camera. This, this is shit on the mic. Be on because camera. he said, what happened? She goes, pow. Didn't even look up. <laughs> pow. You know, so we grabbed him. So I grabbed I said, you all right, son? You all right? I'm thinking, my son dead. Yeah, you all right? You all right? Yeah. He said, yeah, I'm good, daddy. I'm good. So I said, get that damn gun. And I'm twisting this And this is all son. allegedly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Chief said this, this is right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I'm twisting this dude's neck, and I said, get the son, get the gun, Doe, get the gun. Doe said, I can't get it, Daddy, he won't turn his finger loose. I said, <laughs> I said, break his damn arm. I should not have said, what happened then? <laughs> <laughs> so, so we say, you know, and then, by then, the dude's arm really broke. I'm talking Holy like, shit. I mean, the wrong way. Yeah. You know, right. listen what happened. Yeah, also, sad story, right though. Way. It's a sad story. The dude was at the wrong address. He was <laughs> oh my the God. Uh, but you listen, should have put the gun down like listen, he told him to. Listen, Talk listen, about it. Listen, he was this, at the this wrong is what, address. This is what happened. This is more to this shit. case of mistake. So, the, so don't break the neighborhood you don't live in. His, <laughs> he, was, he was looking for the other gangster. <laughs> <laughs> he was just said, I'm JJ the boss. I'm the only motherfucker on this street. The house across the ditch? It was a house. Oh, it was a man. ditch in between our houses, which is where he is now. And <laughs> so, <laughs> no, he turned out. Listen, he, he turns like you know we've little town, seven hundred two people. You know we don't ain't like no lot of action. And I just come home from the joint. Yeah, the fellowship, as we call it. The yeah. fe- my dad, he calls it the fellowship. Yeah, it was the education. Yeah, to be a better person. Yeah, that's right. And so the dude takes and 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 Doughboy breaks his damn arm and twists it the wrong way. And then we go to hitting the, by then. You know, all my partners, we everybody's killing the dude. You know, st- are not killing him. They're yeah. stomping his head off. And yeah. they get the gun. I say, take the gun apart. So one of the guys take the gun apart, and they throw it in the back of the truck. So we got the gun. I'm through. You know what I'm saying? Hey, y'all quit. Y'all quit. I <laughs> calm everybody down. Yeah. The dude is bleeding crazy. His eyeballs knocked out. Everything. I say, Precious, go get us a rag. This time it's going to die on us. <laughs> so Precious runs in the house, don't you? Right. Yes. <laughs> Where'd you go to? We went in my mom's. In your mom's. Went in my mom's house. Got So we get the dude all bandaged up and everything. And about that time, four or five, six cops come running in. You know, they come deep if they to come. To protect you. To nah, save you. But they know we got a group, too. <laughs> they come to save you, know, you from the crazy man with the gun. But check this no? out. Dude had a girl in his truck with him, and She's we didn't hot. know. She oh, was hiding down in the seat when shit. all this was going on. But listen, she 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 stood for what was right. She did that. Really? She did that. Mm-hmm. She, she took, and anyways, so I see the cops. So I run. So I run in the house, of and I tell Doughboy, hey, son, y'all go out there. You, you ran in there to get your ID. <laughs> yeah. Hell no. <laughs> you ran in there to tell me, I'm on some probation. I ain't supposed to be over here. Oh, you ran in there to get, so the to dude, get your paperwork to make sure that they, you So they, the dude they takes in, and, and uh, Doe goes out there. My son says, hey, my daddy ain't had nothing to do with this. You know, they hollering. They looking for JJ. And I said, my daddy ain't had nothing to do with this. <laughs> they was at the wrong address. <laughs> and, and so the 
Uh, he said, yeah, get him out here. I mean it right now. Get him out here. So the girl gets out of the truck. I'm like, where'd this girl come from? She was here at the whole time. So I walk out. And I said, man, I ain't had nothing to do with it. You put your shirt on and go outside. <laughs> so I tell him, I said, I was just breaking them up. Snapped up your sleeveless. You know, I was breaking them up. I pulled in. My dad was, right. my dad was, uh, my dad, everybody was there. My son, they was fighting. So I tried to break them up. You're doing the right thing. The cop looks at me and says, JJ, it looked like you've been slaughtering hogs. Turn around. Look at your boots. They bloody. You've been doing something. You ain't, you ain't been trying to break nobody up. The girl gets out of the truck and says, hey, my boyfriend was, had a gun on this guy. Then the helicopter lands and gets the guy. What? Yes. And anyways, so the Can you the do guy, a helicopter sound? <laughs> 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 so, so, so the girl gets out and the girl says, you know, she starts talking about, hey, the guy telling tell the story. And she said, I told him this was the wrong house. You know, he's and she pointed to where he was supposed to be. Mm-hmm. And so the dude, they, the dude leaves and the girl says, hey, she points to me and she says, JJ, that guy. He begged him to put that gun up. He didn't put the gun up. They all got him. Once they got him down, then they pointed to Doe. Said the big guy broke his arm and got the gun okay. and took it apart. Said after they took the gun apart, J.J. said, stop. Then the little curly-headed girl went in and got a rag and was trying to stop right. the bleeding. Right. So, you know, I said, hey, you know, more or less stop. It's over with. We got the gun. You know, kind of like street racing. Hey, you know, yeah, if it's, it's right, not. it's right. Yeah. If it's wrong, it's wrong. Yeah. Right. What so, no, no, no sense in keep on beating him. You so, got the gun. Yeah. So he should have. Man, you really need to check the address. Yeah, I mean, but you know. the, yeah, the dude gets out so of the hospital. The, he comes who's back. The dude looking for the dude gets out of the hospital right a week or two later, and he says because they thinking it's a war. <laughs> and they get they think, yeah, they're thinking it's gonna be a war because you know where we're from. If yeah, you yeah. mess with one family, it's the whole family. Right. And uh, you know, just I mean, wait. It's Arkansas, there's a lot of family. Yeah, yeah you know, it's it's tough in Memphis. <laughs> But anyways, the dude comes and, and his brother and talks to me and tells me the story that, hey, he was supposed to be in at the, at the right, wrong right, address. Right. Do y'all have a problem? No, I don't have a problem. You know, we're good. So the dude gets out, comes over and shakes her hand and is a really nice guy. And he says, hey, I'm going to not do so much drugs and I'm not, I'm not going to make sure oh. I know what I'm doing before I go to the. So well, the next, yeah, yeah, so he, yeah, so, he could have died. Yeah, he didn't say. Yeah. So, so he didn't say he wasn't going to do it again. He just said next time he's not going to be on so many drugs and he's going to check the address better. So you, you, you. You helped this guy. Yep. So from now on, he's gonna be he's gonna be better at finding the right address <laughs> yep. to take the rifle to. Mm-hmm. Right. You know, but you, if you look at something like that, you think I'm the bad guy if you don't see the, the all of it. Yeah, yeah. If you don't hear you tell it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's more than one side of the story. You ain't never lied, JJ. You, you ain't know, it's never the, lied. It's the the <laughs> it's my side of the story. It's the right side of the story, and then it's the chief side of the story. Yeah, and then and then it's the government side of the story. It's, it's the it's the FBI side of yep. the story. He's like Earl Hickey, man. He's yeah. just trying to do the right just, thing, yeah, you know. Man, just, he's just <laughs> he's, my name is Earl. He's sitting in the house, just you know, looking for good homes for ugly puppies, and That's some right. guy runs up with every a rifle. Sunday. Yeah, every Sunday. Uh, you know? So you've been street racing your whole life. Always had raggedy ass fucking cars and kicking it, you know, and and it, but so it. But in Memphis, it's more about, like, in Oklahoma City, it's never been about the gamble as much as it is now. We've learned a lot from places like California and Memphis and New York and stuff like that. They they taught us that the money, the money is there and the gamble is there. We've always just been more about the race. And you know we I mean? never like, even raced for money. And so, yeah, we never raced for money. We raced because we want to know who was, who was faster. You know what I mean? And so it's always been with us. It's more about the, the race. And I noticed in different cities, it, it's different. And in Memphis, it's, you know, it's all, it's been, it seems like it's always been about, and it, it still is to this day. It's about the gamble. It's about it's the, the dice hustle. game. The it's hustle. The move. It's, it's the, the hustle. It's, the it's no crying and no whining. That's why we right. do the arm drops because you know, if you do a flashlight, but you can't yeah. do an arm drop without Chase's race. Chase is a race. It's, right. it, it, it's brothers. Right. Right. You know that. You know what I'm saying? They're in bed And together. like Derek said on the show, the Chase is a race. It gives the uh, uh, real street racer a, a more advantage. Racer, uh, an advantage. It you does. can take somebody like the, the 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 crazy dude with the pink car, the ones always running around. Dean. Yeah, yeah. Stinky pink. Yeah. You can take him if he's got somebody that's got a million dollars. Right. They can put a big motor in the car. Right. And they can come down here and they can anybody can drive a car if it's got a Right. A crazy motor in it, and that you can just leave and push the light and leave. Right. But hey, when you go talking about arm drop chase as a race, yes. it's going to separate the real street racers. You know what I'm saying? Right. You have to have your wits about you, even not just in the tune up, not just in the car, but also on the starting Together. line. And and the driver comes into play more. Because right. I mean, look at Sean's race with Derek. 
When Most Sean definitely. Derek, raced, Derek was on the flat. You know, I mean, if he, he was wasn't, dead on if it. he wasn't early, he was dead on it. And so Derek got he got way out on you. You know what yeah. I mean? Like yeah. that that gives but like, the arm drop is is with the chase of the race. It gives somebody a chance. Right. But like, see, when he lets someone leave, then runs them down. To us, that's like you got hair on your toes and everything. You, you a man. <laughs> then when you, you got hair like on your when, toes. You got hair like, on your toes. Yeah, you're, like, you're like you're tough. If you just oh, let yeah. somebody leave if and you, let you run them down and whoop them, you 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 that, tough. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. real. You I, know what I'm I get that. Yeah, I get that for sure. So that uh, like yeah, like Ryan did yeah, to fucking to, to Jackie, Jackie yeah. in the snow. Right. I mean, so it uh, looked brutal on TV. <laughs> It, it did. It, it looked, looked like, like Jackie fucking it, just stopped. Yeah. And his truck's mid, badass mid too. Hey, yeah. his, tr- his I watched his truck make a pass. It made a good fucking lick. Yes. Yeah. I thought that he let off and to look to around to see where he that was. Fucking that was my story. I told Precious. I said that dude knew he was winning, and he looked around to see where he was. Yeah, he maybe I don't know. It looked like he was. It looked like he was in the throttle into the finish line, but it's hard to tell because the angles and stuff. Yeah. You know what I mean. But all I know is that Ryan went by him at a at forty mile an hour faster yeah, than what he was going. That car is like. crazy fast. If that you car don't, is fast. I, he, I know it's fast because he was going fast when I outran him the yeah. next round. <laughs> Most definitely. Most definitely. I like it because you know, as a driver, but your crew is supposed to be there to tell you you're going to win. They're, t- they're supposed to tell you, you know, that you're right. going to do good. They're supposed to tell you that you got this, man. Calm down. You got that's what your crew's there for, you know. And 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 Ryan's crew, Ryan's about to race Sean, Ryan's crew, Billy, he says, man, the last time we raced him, you had to pedal it. You know what I mean? Like, think about it. If you're flat on the floor the whole time, he can't beat you. And Ryan just goes, mm-hmm. Because yeah. <laughs> he don't want to hear that shit. You know what I mean? There was also something funny. Was it Farm Truck that said, man, I'm telling you right now, if that thing had a flat tire, I'd still bet on yes. it. Yes. Yeah, yeah, you always bet on the murder. No, it's just like, you know. But we're like going to kick murder Nova as he come to Memphis. Get Precious yeah. shoes back. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I thought I heard one time Precious say that she was undefeated from the four hundred five yeah. or something like that, mm-hmm. and and I just laughed. You right. know, I didn't for really have anybody, to tell anybody living in uh, living in Memphis. How'd that race I would, turn out? I would give five thousand for those shoes out of Sean's trailer if y'all. Hey, were. hey, don't do that. That's, <laughs> we're gonna strike that from the record. How much? How much, yeah. how much <laughs> money? Yeah, they'll take the whole trailer <laughs> and everything for. Uh, you yeah. wouldn't sell no damn shoes for a million dollars. <laughs> no. I ain't telling them. Them, shoes, them shoes will get one back from me. That's the only way. Yeah. Or, right. I guess, stolen. I tell you, you know, <laughs> you know whatever. <laughs> the, uh, the but, J- you know, the-, the... J.J. the boss name is actually... It's weird how it worked out because in the beginning, it was just because you were going to be... When we raced you, you were going to be the boss of Memphis. You know what I mean? And well, what's weird is when is, I said though. it, when I said the name... What? What? Talk. Talk. Say it. Say you it, got Precious. a mic. Say it, Precious. He, well, said, I, heard, he well, said, she said, you heard him, heard her call me boss. That's what everybody's well, always called me because I always run that, the group. What's weird is that whenever I first, and she's the one who told me this. And, and I told her, I said, quit calling I, me boss whenever because I that's going to make people know. Because when I first said it's JJ the boss, I start, I was talking to the to the people when I was down in Dallas. I was texting the producer and I was like, hey, I think I got a group for us to go race. Real street racers, blah, blah, blah. And I said, and it's, it's going to be good. You know what I mean? Because they like to gamble. They like to, they like to tussle. You know, they, they'll talk shit. It's, it's going to be good. Well, when I told the name was JJ the boss of Memphis, there was a comma in there. But then when I started calling you JJ the boss, Precious said, "You know, where did you hear that?" I said, "What do you mean?" <laughs> and she said, "Where did you hear that?" I said, "I said, I said, well, he's the boss of Memphis." She goes, "Yeah, but everybody calls him boss. Like, you know, I call him boss, and, and we call him boss, or whatever." And she goes, "It's just weird that that's how it worked out." And I said, "Well, hey, then it's then it's you know perfect. It's meant to be because he's the boss. You know what I mean? Yeah. JJ the boss. And man, when you see him with his people." He is the There's boss. no doubt about it. There, and, there's no better name for him unless you was going to call him the Godfather. Well, and there's like, that. That's it. But you know, okay. So everybody says that you know, and I've seen some people trying to relate you to the New Orleans guys because they're they're from Mississippi, but they race in New Orleans. Okay, right. And you're you, you live outside of Memphis, but you race in Memphis. And I so bees over there, but I stays over here. Ex- yeah, it stays. Yeah, exactly. Right. So, but the difference is. When we went to New Orleans, uh, before they even had a show and before we even knew who they were, we went to New Orleans to street race at the pad before we'd even met those guys. Right. And when we showed up at the pad and we started racing people and testing and stuff, none of those guys knew we were there. They didn't come. We didn't hear from them, nothing. The only one, BJ, the guy who flags the races down there. Cause that's cause he stayed real he, close. He, there, he right showed there. up. He said, I heard, he said, he said, yeah. I heard that goddamn El Camino loud motherfucker. I come over here. 
And he told me, he said, I'm the governor of this motherfucking road. He goes, don't nobody race here unless I say so. And I was like, oh, So he's shit. really the only one that's from there. Yeah, and he said, right. and he, he and I said, well, I usually flag the races. He said, not here. You ain't out flagging it. Yeah, I'm flagging the races here. He said, and I was like, huh, okay. And so I, t- I talked to him a little bit, and I, I like BJ. We get along great. And I said, yep. you know, I said, man, how come the cops don't come? Because we raced all night, three nights in a row. He said, man, it's a bad city, bro, bro. They do bad stuff here. Well, I'm on my way back from Georgia from racing the radi- radials. We're scheduled to race them in Memphis. And I snuck out a way to figure out the street that we was going to be around and, and the streets that they race on. And I wanted to go by and visit a couple of them streets on my way through. So me and Monkey and, and race car, we're driving back and we, we stop in Memphis. Now, JJ had told me before, if you, if you try and come out here and make a test it, I'm going to know about it. And I said, that's fine. I don't care if you know about it or not. I'm just going to let you know. It's a public fucking road. I'm going to test on that road before we get there. We're going to test on it. He said, I don't care what you do because I'm just telling you I'm going to know about it. So we show up in Memphis about, you know, midnight or so on a weekday. And we get to, we're looking into spots and we get out and we're checking the spots. And I mean, we start, before we even got to the spot, we're rolling through this really, really nice neighborhood. <laughs> They're all nice neighborhoods. That's somebody's home now you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't never lie. Hey, and somebody's mama stay over there. Yeah. And my phone rang and I was like, I said, like, how the fuck JJ know we're here? And so I answered the phone and said, hey, what's up? And he said, now, how am I fuck I'm gonna get a call that there's a big black truck and a big black trailer with a big eared Indian in it riding around in Memphis looking at my street race spots? And I said, I said, I was gonna call, I was gonna call you, JJ. Gee, See, what, what had happened, happened was, was, I thought you was in bed. I didn't want to bug you. I know you got work early in the morning. Right. Yeah, he said, yeah, yeah, you're right, living right. You know, he's like, sleeping. He was, said, he said, uh, he said, stop right where you're at. And I said, what? And he said, yeah. And he said, that's me on the corner with the tail light out or whatever. And I said, what the fuck? And he knew we was there. You know what I mean? That's the boss. You know, when you go to his town yep. and you're on his spot and he knows you're around, you know, that's boss shit. So yep. your name, it really does reflect that, you know, of who you are. And, and it, it shows in your crew and stuff too. So all these people that want to talk about your nickname on TV and all that stuff, like it wasn't that I gave you the nickname and it wasn't that the TV show gave you the nickname. He really you, is our boss. You, man. The, yeah, you're the boss man. You know, I was, ra- we was racing the other night in, in Memphis and, the cops showed up. Yeah, what's mean? that like for you now? That you because we know because we've done it. We've been on TV and people recognize stuff. What's that done for you now that you've been on TV three but or four times? This was before. This was oh, before. Okay, okay. You know, this was you before. said the other night. So when I say the other night, <laughs> yeah, you know, mean I, I know quit, the other you know. night. Yeah, with JJ I had a me. lot of questions. Yeah. Right. You know, I was, <laughs> This, I, was, this, was a, this was a little yeah, bit back. What you you know maybe last weekend or what's something. The, what's the statue of limitations? Questions. <laughs> Anyways, the, uh, I, and, and the cop shows up and he says, hey, uh, JJ, come here. So I come over and I say, what's, what, what's going on? And I'm, I'm hesitant going over there. I'm thinking, just, hey, you're going to arrest me, right? So I go over there and he says, hey, these damn youngsters don't quit shooting at us when we go around the corners. We're going to stop all the drag racing. There's not going to be any racing. So we take in and I say, uh, I think they we can came make to you looking for help. I said, I think we can make that go away as long as, you know what I'm saying? We ain't, as long as y'all ain't just, just crawling down our backs while we racing. Right. So, you know, hey, it's a, in the street racing world, you know, you're in the streets, everybody respects it. So we holler at the youngsters, tell them, hey, y'all act right. Y'all don't act like fools. Go across town, do it. Don't do it in our little area. And so that happened, you know what I'm saying? The, the, the they left us alone. We got our racing on. Yeah, and when we were there at the spot, we're there, we could hear gunshots going off. We had, they had shot up our hotel. Like, it's real in Memphis. Memphis is, but it's a good place though. But I've also had, that's some of the most fun I've ever had at a, at a town was Memphis. And the people yeah. there are super nice and they're cool and they're the down to earth, but they'll tell you straight up, you know, this is a bad area. That's a bad area. Don't do this. Don't do that. Don't yeah. act like this. And, and there's you know, rules and laws and there is, there is. And, but also if, they're in the wrong is when they realize they're in the wrong, they're in the wrong and they're okay right. with it. You know what I mean? Yeah. But they're not going to let you bullshit them into being in the wrong. Right. They're going to, they want to see it. You got to see it to believe mm-hmm. it. You know what I'm yes. saying? You yeah. think the hands quicker than the eye? <laughs> you think the hands quicker than the eye, Sean? I don't know. You I don't, don't do you chief? You say, I ain't even going to. Do you do believe the hands quicker than the eye though? No. The hand is not quicker than the eye. The hand is not quicker than the eye? No. It might be, it might be in Memphis. Did you already steal my shoes? <laughs> what'd you, what'd you take I mean, I didn't see you take it, but did you take it? If he took I it, get and we that's where, I, I get yeah. that's where you're going with this deal. I didn't see somebody steal something from me, but they stole it. Yeah. So JJ's hand is quicker so, than so my eye. So somebody's hand's quicker than my eye. 
or somebody's eye. Okay, let's get to the thing. So then, yeah, yeah. Then <laughs> I build a badass group. I got, I got this group. I'm Memphis Street Outlaw, JJ the Boss. I got my, I got some pretty tough guys now. You, you see, do. they roll with me. You do, you do, and they got fast cars. You damn right. And they can get down. And any, we're real. And they can get down any road, and they're real, and it don't matter. Not, they're not there for the cameras. They're not there for the TV show. They're there to race, and we and they, we genuinely respect that. Um, I feel like the first time we raced down there, we got lucky, really, to be honest with you, because we. We we really didn't win that race. Yeah. You know what I mean? right. Well, it came down, you know, what was it? Four four and five or five and five? It was, was it? three to it was three to four. Uh no, it was three to three until and y'all Sean. raced, right? It was three to three, right? Right, until y'all By raced. By then Sean had done his little magical thing. Precious had a crush on him. She says, Hey, let Sean win. <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> Hey, let Sean win. Let Sean win. Yeah. <laughs> no, nah, I'm gonna back up on it. <laughs> Uh, but I mean, I saw the cars go down that road and the cars that you brought, your cars, right. um, were obviously at home on that road yeah. and we were not at so, all. And then, but then you had the balls to bring your crew to our road and did a lot better than I thought you were going to do because I thought they're not going to win you one race. You thought you had a clean sweep. Yeah, some I different said, cars though. I said, they're not, man, but he had the same cars too. He had some of the same cars. Yes. Same uh, people. It might have been a little different cars. You know what I'm saying? Well, I, mean, I mean, the the vet, the small block killer, he yeah, had the, the same vet, car. And then uh, Bailey, Bailey, Mustang, Mustang Mike, Bailey, Mustang Lee Roberts. Roberts. Bailey with bigger tires. Prosecutor. Or, uh, pr- prostitute. prostitute. Um, the only one that was different was, uh, what's that That badass Nova? That fucking car is that car's Lee clean. Roberts. It looks good. That's Lee yeah, Roberts. Lee good Roberts. guy. Yeah. He's I'm homeless. Lee Roberts, and I really like drag racing. No, 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 that's not him. Hold on, that's no, not him. That's the that's, no, 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 that's not the Corvette guy either. That's the uh, the guy with the Camaro. No. Hey no, man, y'all shut up! Don't we talk Camaro. about him? Y'all, no, y'all one, be ready to fight no, y'all when I get I'm back. I'm out of trouble. The y'all shut up, man. They take that shit personal when no, y'all talk about how they talk. The ones I'm talking about are the ones that they just raced. The one that crashed, and then the one that didn't. Lee Roberts and the one in the red car. Doc. Doc. He said, you know, because he's not a Memphis Street Outlaw. JJ the boss. I got you. No. So, but he no. said, but I remember them talking and, and he was like, that big old motor, it looks like he's serious business over here. I just want to race him. And then that Doc Baker guy goes, woo, I won. I won. You know, like it, it, the way they, it, but they, that's them. Yeah. You're not going to get nothing different out of them on camera. Right. You know, they're not going to get on camera and change everything about them. And they're not going to tell you yep. the story you know, of who they were, who they supposed to be. That's really them, you know, and that's what's great about them. It doesn't matter if the cameras are on or not. That's who they are. This is what I can say. My group is, is they're real enough that I put my signature anywhere I go. If that car's got Memphis Street Outlaw, J.J. the Boss on it, I stand for it, and I pay no anything doubt. they do wrong. And even if you don't agree with the way, what they're doing or what they're saying, you still stand behind them. I've noticed that, too, and that says a lot, you know what I mean, because you ride or die with your people. You know, I've yeah. done a lot of my guys. I haven't agreed with a lot of the shit that some of my guys have done, you know. Chuck Chuck's done a few things that that, that are uh, questionable, but I got to stand behind him. That's my people. I'm going to ride it out with him. Same thing. You know what I mean? So, uh, yep. And we've thought a couple of times it was yeah. going to be die with but, him. But, yeah. But you, know, <laughs> but you know the dude's real whenever he crashed his car, tore everything up, but then when they said he won, he won. Yep. You know what I mean? But That's I was trying real. to get my other guy in, and Sean voted him out. What? Yeah, he voted against us. You goddamn right. To get, oh, man. you get Lee back in? I'm trying to get Lee back in, yeah. so I yeah, can. But Lee, you, wrote, Lee lost. I, I even talked to you. He lost money. We split that shit up. We he get lost back in that race. No, but hey, in my <laughs> opinion, though, in my opinion, Lee Roberts should have been back in. I talked to you about this, but you didn't. You did not voice your rules. Um, I'm a little on green on the voice. You are. You didn't voice it because the rule was he got you had cross. to drive it back. You had to drive it back. So, right. in order for the race to be over. The cars have to go back across the, the starting line to start the timer for the next race. So in theory, Doc Baker couldn't drive his back. Yep. So he would be disqualified at that point. So technically, Lee Lee's. should have been in the race. He should. I would he should have still been. That both of them would, look, but if, because old dude lost to the to the finish line. Who? Lee. Lee lost to the finish line. But if the dude can't make it back in he four won. minutes, you say I Just, gave. Yeah, but he uh, still lost I gave the race. Boots. Yeah, but if you go down, the, if you go down through there, and but that Doc would have took that. But that guy. Okay. But listen, he lost the race, so he's out. No, he's Old not dude out. Old dude lost the no. fucking race when he didn't race, make it back through no, the finish line. The race isn't no, over. No, the, the race, race isn't over until you get back to the starting line. Because the other ones can't start. 
Yes. How That's do I count boosted out? Yeah. And if I can, if it only he said when the they, five, he said when the both cars come across this line, that's when the race is over, and you got ten minutes to the next one. Okay, so just like at a yeah, that at a counts. Track. That that starts the counter for the next. But race. But that's when the race is over. If they don't come back and cross it, then you can't start it. So so if okay so this so, so <laughs> kind of yeah. like the you just know like saying other situations and the other guy passes the scales. But you notice my guy didn't argue. That's yeah, a Memphis no, Trial JJ the boss. He he when good. I said, yes. when I let y'all vote, Lee, hey, it's a gray Lee, area. Lee I said, had, I'm going to let y'all vote. In my opinion, Lee had an argument, and he could have argued it, and he probably should have argued it to get back in it because he no, did have a fast do car. If, but he didn't. He had, Whatever you said was the rule. And you said you're going to let everybody vote, and you, you shouldn't have done that because anytime you let the drivers vote on letting somebody back in. That, that's yeah, not going to happen because work. chances yeah. are I could have had right. to race that motherfucker to outrun me next round. Yeah, and we respect it. And we respect it. If you haven't said anything about they have to drive them up and they have to drive them back and all that. Then the race is over at the finish line. Well, see, I, I just, just assumed that the race is over at the finish line. When they drive them back, that just starts okay, the fucking timer. But, but that Sean, doesn't end the fucking race. But Sean, if you're racing Derek, you blow the tires off or he jumps or whatever, okay? Y'all go to the finish line. Or you're racing Dennis Bailey in his Mustang, whatever. Y'all go to the finish line. You smoke the tires, whatever. You had a bad case of something, whatever. He won. Okay, now, the rule is he's got to drive it back. You get down the other end, you drive yours back. He's stuck down there. They got to go get a golf cart to get him. They leave it there. What are you going to do? Are you going to be, you're, you're going to look, you're going to wait. You're going to see. Cause if he don't come back, I'm in. If he don't come back in, I win. If he don't, if he don't drive it back, I win. Right? Come yeah, on, see, Sean. Look at you. Come on, Sean. Don't smile because yeah. the camera can't see you. Yeah, you know it. Yeah, you know. Because if you really, <laughs> but you, you know, that's back. just the rule that, hey, we got some country accents and we are hooligans when we in the streets, but we got honor and loyalty. Uh, you know, if I said, hey, it, okay, it's over. Lee was man enough. It's over. He didn't, he didn't say a word. No, you did. And I saw that. Yeah, you did. Lee. And uh, I, I actually, I've, I've only talked to Lee a little bit, good but I lost a lot of money on him at that real cash days down there. I put a lot of money on him against that vet. Right. You know, I believe. I say a lot of money, man, but you know, for not knowing either car, right. I bet, I don't know, five, 600 bucks on him, you know, something like that at the starting line, which I've lost more on less, you know what I mean? But I don't know, I guess getting back to that. If I saw a gray area to get back into a race, I'd do whatever I, I mean, could do. Fifty thousand to win, you know. Yeah, and that's exactly why I said, "Fuck no, don't let him back in." Now I get. That. I mean, we gotta, but we I'm gotta just... fucking vote on that yeah. deal. And I said, "Ah, yeah." I, who, I just who? Kinda, Lee with that Nova? I fuck no. Feel like, I kind of feel like he had a he had a bit of an argument there, and he didn't take it. But whatever. Hey, he, he rides with JJ, so if JJ says let's vote, then we vote. You know what yes. I mean? Yes. Um. <laughs> Just like JJ said, what do you want to do about Birdman not making the pass? You know what I mean? Like, uh, it was kind of, I, I wanted to speak up, but I didn't. Why? What did you, what did you actually want to say? Well, because, uh, it seemed like on the by runs that I was, when the guy broke that I was racing, Mm -hmm. I had to make the pass to the finish line. Well, even in the final, and boosted didn't get to, and boosted, well, yeah, boosted didn't get to. <laughs> and so then, everybody's going, wow, JJ just kind of making then, this up as it goes. But but I get that boosted's boosted's was a little different because because the, it was a jump be, situation. Well, because he boosted he, took a red light, you didn't take a red light. Right, right. So right, so I think that boosted won the race as On soon a red as that light. guy took off. Right. Yes. So now, if boosted goes after him, it's no longer a red light. If boosted leaves, the race is it's on. a chase. You know what I mean? I mean, in theory, if Boosted would have left at any point, no, I, he chased. I, I get it. Right? I get it. Right. So, so and that's no, what it he was, said. It was fair. It was fair. But then, you know, even in the in the final, like, because I, I knew that I was going to try and grudge race somebody because I had a hot car and, and I wasn't done making money even after I won the 50 grand. And I said, do I have to make the pass? You know, because I had already made plenty of passes and I had made five hits or something and never had to lift up, never pedaled, never wiggled. The car was fast and straight. So I was like, do I got to make the pass? And he said, yes, you got to go all the way to the finish line. So when Birdman didn't want to make the hit, it, it's tough It's tough because you want to say, yeah, okay. I had to, he has to. But then again, if Birdman's car ain't broke, which at that point I wasn't sure, I don't want Birdman to get another hit on that road. You know what I mean? So at that, it was just a situation. But I feel like, like he knew that when he wanted to start his spreading. Yeah, there's no doubt about there's it. There's something in the lane. This, I knew. that, hundred million different yeah. things. And I knew his car split. was hurt for sure when he said he wasn't going to make a test hit. Now, because I, I saw his when, other passes. Right. And I wasn't that impressed, to no, be honest with no, you. No, he, he was, he, if he had a chance to make a hit, he would have. And, and he right. would have made it in the fucking right lane where right. his car looked like now, shit other, against Shane. Yeah, the other thing is whenever they said there was oil in his lane, 
when I saw the video of it on the show, it didn't look like it was actually, it looked like it was before the burnout even. Right. It wasn't even in his lane. It wasn't even, it was way before the burnout. So was the oil that was in your lane. And JJ hollered at me and said, hey, there's some oil right here, dude. And I looked at it. It was like three drops. And I said, yeah, fuck that. They're trying to clean it up. No, and don't that's touch why, it. And that's why I was like, because you'll fuck it up. These worse. motherfuckers are gonna bring that mop over don't here that has it. no telling what on it. Farm truck carries it off; it's on fire, yeah. and it didn't show me. But I started yelling at farm truck, man, and I, I hate to do that. I hate to ever do that. But it was a I, same you situation. Have to. You don't as touch in, that like, fucking road. California? It's not your lane. Well, or, you know. he's carrying that right. fucking thing is on fire, and he's dragging it right across the starting right. line. Yeah. And I go, get it off the fucking lane. At least get it over to the grass. Right, but the you know but I mean? the cameras can't see it in the grass. And then you know that's where the, they had golf carts. They had all kind of shit. Yeah. Parked. And then the 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 lift things. Right. You right. Know, and 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 well, the bad thing about it though, the is the first thing something goes wrong, it's JJ's fault. Right. Because yeah. I'm running the race. I'm Trust JJ's me, I boss. know. I've been doing you know it for saying? a few years now. It's always you know, my fault. It, it's my fault. You know what I'm saying? Hell, so that's why I was trying to be ass. You know. 